My name is Kwanya Coulter, and this is my multi-genre presentation for the Composition 2 class. Mrs. Tabitha Wynn is the instructor. The title of my paper is The Psychological and Physical Effects of an Unhappy Marriage. And the two stories I chose were Trifles, a 1916 drama written by Susan Glassbell, and The Story of an Hour, an 1894 short story by Kate Chopin. And the reason I chose these two stories uh, is because they had <clears throat> similarities of two women who were very unhappy in their marriages. For my presentation, I decided to write a poem about those two women. And I'd like to read it to you at this time. The title is Two Unhappy Women. This is the story of two women as unhappy as they could be, both longing and yearning one day to be free. Bound by the standards of society, one had no voice, so she could not speak. She kept her feelings all bottled up inside and continued to do those things that she was expected to do. Gradually, her health began to decline and her will to live did too. Then news came that would set her free. Her husband had been killed accidentally. Overjoyed, elated, and excited inside, but her true feelings she still had to hide. No longer stuck in a marriage that made her unhappy. Now she was finally free until she heard someone at the door with a key. Who could it be? Her husband who had not died accidentally. So she died instead. She had a bad heart, you see. The other woman, remember, there were two. This one's husband was awfully cruel. He took her away from the life she once knew, then kept her from her friends and family too. He belittled her and taunted her and was very unkind, so much so that she began to lose her mind. Then one day she found a little bird who could sing. It reminded her of herself because she used to do the same thing. Those were the days when she was the happiest before she got married. Now her life is a mess. But this little bird brought back the joy she had lost and began to repair damage her husband had caused. Until one day, the little bird's neck was snapped by her husband with whom now she was trapped. The next morning, her husband was found dead in bed. A noose had been slipped over his head. Just like the little bird, his neck had been snapped. And the woman just sat there rocking with her hands in her lap. Thank you.